Isn't it frustrating when your dirt bike won't start? It feels like it's the end of the world. I mean, pfft, now I can't go riding. But in reality, it's probably something simple. So let's just take a step back and uh, think about what may be wrong. Uh, when's the last time you rode your bike and what was it doing before? Was it hard to start then? Let's start with the simplest things first and then work our way towards to find out what the problem really is. An engine needs fuel, air, and spark to ignite the mixture and start running. If it doesn't have any one of those or one of them is lacking just a little bit, it's probably not going to start. To start with the simplest things first, let's look at the gas. First of all, did you turn the gas on? And no, let's turn the gas on. Then, after that, if it still won't start, let's check if we actually put any gas in the tank. So pop the can, so pop the cap off, and look in there, and if there's not much in there, then you may need to top it off. However, even if there is gas in there, how old is it? Old gas, it'll smell like paint, varnished paint, and it's going to be hard to start if the gas is really old. So if it smells really old, um, you'll have to drain it all, uh, drain the carb, and put some fresh gas in and then try starting it up. And then on the rare occasion, there can be a vapor lock. Gas basically gets locked into the gas tank and there needs to be um, pressure put into it to push it down uh, to the carb so you can try taking the the hose out and just blowing in it and try pressurizing the system to get it running again um, this can happen if you have an aftermarket vent cap or if you have a fuel filter that is clogged um, you may have to um, replace it to get the fuel running back to the carb again Next thing to check is the air filter. Uh, that's an easy one. You can see if it is really dirty, uh, then it's not allowing enough air in uh, to get the right air fuel mixture. It would have to be really dirty for it to not start, but uh, it's always quick, easy check to make sure. Otherwise, uh, there could be a rag stuffed in the air box because that's very easy to do when you're doing maintenance on the bike and forgot it in there. After that, if the engine's cold, uh, make sure that the choke is working properly. So this, the choke knob is here. Pull it up and it stays in place. Um, it's hard to test it on this one um, if the bike isn't running because there's no valve that you can see. But some bikes, uh, if you pull the carb off the boot and look inside the bore, um, the choke will turn a valve and uh, you can see it moving and operating. So if you got fresh gas and it's getting to the carb, you know it's getting to the carb and it still won't start, um, there is a good chance that the carb is dirty. Um, more than likely the pilot jet because the pilot jet is a really small jet. It has a small hole and it gets clogged up pretty easily from old gas sitting in there. So if gas has been sitting in the carb for more than a few months or sometimes even a few weeks it can get dirty and clog the pilot jet up. So uh, what you can do is pull the spark plug out, just take a few drops of gas and splash it in to the cylinder and then put the spark plug back on and try starting it and if it fires up it'll probably only be for a brief second but if it fires up for the first time uh, then you know that the carb is probably dirty and it needs to be cleaned on the flip side uh, even if the carb is clean all the jets and passages are good and you've cleaned it and it still won't start there's a chance that it may be poorly tuned uh, now if you just rode like yesterday and the temperature and everything are the same then it's probably not that but if you just bought the bike um, or if you are riding at a different elevation 
or massive uh, temperature change and it's not starting, then you may need to look at the jetting, um, whether to go richer or leaner. Um, if you go from a really warm climate to a really cold climate, you'll need to go richer. Also, if you're going up in elevation, such as into the mountains, when you're um, normally riding at sea level, gotta love the Harleys. So if you go from sea level to riding in the mountains, say 8, 10, 11,000 feet um, elevation, then uh, it's going to run a lot richer and you need to go leaner on the jetting because the air is not as dense and there's not as much oxygen up there. If you figure it out that it's getting enough gas, the next thing to check is if it's getting spark. Take the spark plug out, put the cap back on it, and then rest the spark plug on the cylinder head and either kick it over or press the electric start and you should see a, um, a little blue spark from it. If it's not sparking um, when you're turning it over then there's no spark and <clears throat> the problem is either in the spark plug wiring um, or in the CDI box or it could be the stator. When you pull the spark plug out check to see if the plug itself is fouled. Uh, if it's black, the tip of it is black and wet uh, with gas, then it's fouled and that may be the reason why your bike is not starting. So try putting a new spark plug in and see if it starts then. Every bike has a kill switch and it's not very often that this happens but if you happen to get in a crash or if you live in a high humidity climate, uh, it could get corroded. But um, the wiring uh, and the kill switch, it could, it could be broken um, on the inside and causing the bike to think that you're holding the kill switch. So it's not allowing power um, to be able to start the bike. So if you have a similar bike, uh, you can try swapping out the kill switch and seeing if that is the problem. There could also be a intake air leak. So if you see any cracks, you'll need to replace the intake boot. Um, but you won't know for sure if there's a leak uh, until you get the engine started, which is what we're trying to solve now. So uh, just make sure that all the clamps uh, and everything in the carb is in the boot all the way just clamp tightly just to make sure that there is no air leaking into the engine causing a lean mixture. The engine could have low compression just due to being worn out from so many hours of use. So how you can test that is using an engine compression tester uh, to see in what the PSI is. So every bike is a little bit different but um, for a four-stroke trail bike like this, uh, probably want to see 180 PSI. But if it's down to like 100 or less, then it's definitely low on compression and the top end will need to be rebuilt. And last but not least, uh, electric start bikes obviously have a battery that powers the starter. So if the battery is too weak or dead, it will turn it over too slowly or not at all, which is what the problem was on this bike. So either charge it or replace the battery and it'll be good to go. So let's try it out. Put a new battery in. And what do you know, it starts. Dun, 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 dun. Time to ride again. Well, I hope this video has been of help to you to get your dirt bike started again. Uh, I tried to think of every common way um, to fix it, and uh, if I forgot something, please comment uh, so you can help others that may have a different problem in the future. I'm Kelly from Motocross Hideout. Learn more, ride more.